All right, hello everybody. Phil and Cat here, and welcome to a special video that we've been planning on working on for a while. Uh, Cat has been living with me now for a yes. month. Yeah, in fact, in fact, as of tonight, well, as of midnight tonight, you'll have been here exactly one month. Yeah. In Washington, living with me, and you know, rightfully so, there have been a lot of questions in regards to my viewership and my fan base asking why hasn't Phil done videos with Cat? Why aren't there vlogs? Why hasn't she been in gameplay? Why hasn't she been on streams? You know, and I can I, I hear it from, from both sides. I hear it from very positive people, you know, the kind of people who hang out on my streams daily and we have a great time. And of course, you got the negative idiots who constantly have to spin it in a negative way that yeah. something must be wrong and there's a reason why, you know, I she hasn't been in everything yet. Um, so the reason we're making this video today, very simply, is to kind of explain a little bit about what's going on and let you guys know exactly what to expect moving forward in the future. Give you some perspective on how things are going to be approached when it comes to Kat and having her in, you know, videos and streams and content. Uh, and a little bit of an explanation as to why there hasn't been a lot, okay, up to this point. All right. So, first of all, she's lived here for a month, right? Yeah. And have you had a good time, at least in the month that you've been here? Uh, not at all, really. Actually, oh. I'm just joking. It's actually been really good here. I actually really love it here um, versus where I used to live. Right. I'm not going to say where. Right. For but... reasons we're going <laughs> to explain, obviously, in this video. Yeah. But, no, I really love it here, and I love being with Phil, and uh, I'm just really excited for all the things that we're going to be able to, to do in the future. Right. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the good news is oh, it's been a month. Everything's been going together swimmingly for us. Like, when you think of all the hurdles that we had that we thought, oh, mm -hmm. man, this might be a pain in the ass. Like, yeah. getting your driver's license or car insurance or health. All yeah. that stuff's boom. It's been, like, really easy transition, right? Yeah, it all went well. We're all in the, you know, we're, we're currently mm -hmm. in the process of getting everything hashed out to the point where we'll have finally a schedule worked mm -hmm. in where we know every week what, what, you know, what your work schedule will be, how my work schedule is going to be, and how to coincide all of that. So everything there on that in that regard has been good. But as you guys know, there's been no video real content of any. This is the first time you're actually seeing Kat in a video of any sort on yeah. any of my 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 channels on oh, YouTube or By anywhere. the way, I am real. <clears throat> just for yes. all the people who don't who think I'm don't exist. I am real. <laughs> but I don't think I need to say that, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> all right. Um so what what's the deal? Why hasn't there been anything? What's going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is this, if you guys haven't noticed, in the last year, I have made a very conscious effort to basically try to separate what I consider to be kind of my work life, my online streaming, my videos on YouTube from my personal life. Now, I know this is a huge change for those of you who've been longtime viewers and fans of mine. As you know, I used to pretty much share every single thing on a daily basis, right? I used to tell you about my feelings about everything, what was going on behind the scenes of the, the camera, whether it was personal stuff, financial stuff, whatever it was always, I shared it all, right? And to some extent, that was a positive. I feel that I had a great connection with my audience. But as you guys know, sadly, over the years, there's been some really malicious parties out there who've used that personal information to do really harmful things, including, you know, doxing, swatting, and doing all kinds of malicious, slanderous, um, you know, just negative things, toxic things on the internet regarding myself and, you know, my family, friends, things in the past. It's been horrible in a lot of things, you know, that people would do this stuff, Okay. So in the last year, I've made a conscious effort to not be as mm -hmm. tell you everything up front because there's some things that, quite honestly, you guys don't need to know. You don't need to know every single moment of what's going on with me off camera, what we're doing at every moment's notice together off camera and stuff like that. And the bottom line is there would be people that if we were constantly sharing everything would use that against us yep. to do nasty things. I mean, I didn't even let you guys know that I had been dating Kat for months left last year. It wasn't until late last year, 2017, yeah. when I even revealed it. And then when I revealed it, immediately accusations that she doesn't exist and it's bullshit and he's making this up. So then I took a picture of you decorating the Christmas tree, <laughs> oh right? And then you got crazy ass conspiracy theories about you don't exist, you're an escort, oh or you were someone with a wig on. Like this insanity, like fucking insanity Ugh. of what people just come up with out of nowhere with no kind of factual basis or whatever just because they want to cause drama and all kinds of toxic shit on the internet so purposely we knew that when we were going to finally have 
you know, you, you can't introduce into stuff that it was going to have to be a careful process, a calculated process, not just, oh, you're here day one, immediately just start putting out daily vlogs every single day. Yeah. And, you know, you're in every stream that I do, every playthrough yeah. now, you're here to, into, you know what I mean? And uh, basically, we want it to be something that when it is, when it does happen, it's mm -hmm. special, right? Yeah. If we're going to do a video together of a game playthrough. We want it to be a game that both of us really enjoy and we've built up to doing this as something where we're both involved in it. Not just, oh, it's a the first co-op game possible. Let's just fucking do it, right? That's not what we want to do. Same thing with vlogging. You know, we thought, gee, should we do vlogs around the house? Should we do that? And we talked about it and we're like, honestly, you guys have seen the house. You know what I mean? Like, what's different about yeah. the house? Not much at all. I took a, a couple Instagram pics of your office but outside of that, everything's the same. You guys, you know, who are, who are, you know, viewers of mine over the years have seen what the house looks like. You don't need to see just us do another walkthrough of the same shit. You know what I mean? Um, now, there will be things that logically Kat's going to be in moving forward. For example, because you live with me when I do DSP Tries It when that series resumes, which is going to happen. A lot of people have hypothesized, oh, Phil's canceled DSP Tries It. Where's it been? No, it just so happens that... I did a DSP tries it right before you arrived, mm -hmm. and since the last month, there's been nothing. There's been nothing new going on in the realm of food or anything that I would do for a special DSP tries it video. So I just haven't done one. But I mean, duh, your cat lives with me. She's here every day. So if and when we go out to do a DSP tries it and we find a new item, you're gonna, you know, you'll be in the videos, yeah. obviously. Um, moving forward, different kinds of vlogs. Like for example, if we do something special. If we go into Seattle or we do something else that's outside the ordinary and we just feel like we want to document it, right? Or if we're out and about and we want to do some Instagram pics, you might be in those. Or, I mean, one thing that's a no-brainer, holiday stuff, right? If we're going to do a video about Christmas or whatever, yeah, you're obviously going to be in that stuff. So, in that regard, that's why you guys haven't seen her is because, again, we're trying to make it special. We're trying to make it very different from my past where everything was, every possible thing was shared. Um, I mean, to the point where, you know, think about how many how much personal information and nasty stuff got thrown out there on the internet that I never wanted to be and people, you know, hounding myself, my parents get, you know, getting prank calls and stuff, you know, it's bad. And it's to the point where you can't have that kind of shit happening anymore. All right. Um, so don't think that the fact that cat has not been in videos for the past month is because something's wrong or because we're just, we decided to, you know, that it, we don't want to do stuff together. That's not the case either. It's just that we're kind of saving it so that when we eventually do do it, it makes sense and it's special, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in regards to you, do you want to talk a little bit about, you know, your gaming as a whole? Because you are a gamer. A lot of people yeah. have had questions about you and the kind of games you like and the things that you do in gaming. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, well, I'm sure he's probably told you that I like Overwatch. Um, I would say it's like my favorite like online multiplayer game. Um, I pretty much like all genre. The only genre of game I don't really like are sport games because I'm not really into sports, but... Um, and racing games. I don't really care about those either, but I pretty much play like, like, I mean, I play shooters. Obviously I love Skyrim. I'm sure he's told you that. That's like, <laughs> gotta be like my top favorite game. Um, I've just, I played so many games. I, I pretty much played like triple A. I don't really play a lot of indie games. I just play like triple A games. Right. I'm going to be playing Far Cry 5 when it comes out. I'm be playing God of War. So. Do you have, cause this is what everyone always asks me. <laughs> do you have a particular game this year that you think you're looking forward to more than like everything else? Is there a hyped game you really want in 2018? You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> shoot. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard. Do I, what, what game do I want to come out or what game that is well, What out? game do you think that is going to re reasonably, you think would come out this year that you want, you, you want to play the most? Is it God of War? I know you mentioned Far Cry 5, God of War. Would it be Red Dead Redemption 2? Would it be, you know, all these big games that are coming out. Yeah. Do you have a hyped release? Because that's what everyone always asks me, you know? Um, no, I am really excited for God of War. When I saw it, when I saw it was released and the graphics look really freaking good and I have a PS4 Pro now and I have a 4K monitor, so I'm going to be excited to be playing that um i know there's not really like a ton of games coming out this year either unfortunately well, like Red, the, games, the problem is nothing has release dates and i've said yeah, that a million times this year if you look at my release calendar over here on the wall yeah. outside of march and april they're like there's no dates for anything and yeah. i think that e3 this year is going to be a big e3 where yeah that's tons of dates will come out all right so that's, you know, she enjoys a lot of variety of games. But as you notice, nothing in there do we say, oh, we're going to co-op games and stuff. A lot of people have been asking, are we going to play A Way Out together in two weeks? No, we have talked about it, and we decided that's not a game that, you know, she would be too interested in. 
And so, no, we're not going to be doing co-op in a way out together or anything like that. Like I said, if, if and when we do decide to do co-op, it'll be something that we try to plan so that we can do it together. Another thing you got to realize is that Kat has a job and it's going to be, you know, yeah. having anything we do will have to be worked around her work schedule and mine so that we can have time to do it together. So, you know, you got all these factors that come into play. All right. Um, I think one final thing that we should address is the whole situation of social media and how people sought you out and shit like that because it was ridiculous. Basically, when Kat, when I took one picture of Kat when she had arrived here in Washington, right, and all I did was give her first name, immediately people scoured the fucking internet to try to find information about her, and they found her old Twitter and an old Twitch account, right, and your yeah. old YouTube channel. Now, you haven't used that since I think it was like the first half of 2017. It's was been it? almost a year now since I've used <clears throat> any of those, like Twitter or YouTube. I haven't been on there and it was, it's on purpose. It's right. because I know, well, now I know everyone went on there to try to troll me once the pictures of us came out because they thought it'd be funny. But then they realized that I haven't used the account in like a year or something like that. So it's like, it doesn't really affect me, but that's why I don't, I'm not active on social media is because there's no reason to, because I know people are just going to be, they're just going to harass me and be stupid. So. Right, right. And you know, hey, me personally, firsthand, I can tell you from all the shit that I've been through over the years, if I, if I didn't actively need to use like Twitter on a daily basis for business and stuff, I probably also would not be too active on there because there's so many people who just want to be nasty, right? And it's ridiculous because again, we didn't announce that you had a Twitter. We didn't announce that you had, you know, this was all sought out and found yeah. by people. And all you needed to do was look at it to see she hadn't used it in so long and it wasn't active, but still people, you know, immediately have to like act like this is news and blow it up drama wise all over the internet. Oh my God, we found her previous stuff and stuff. Which like makes that. no sense to me. It's like, <clears throat> why do you care so much? I'm just some random person. Why do you care? Why do you care about, you know, hurting me or insulting me? You know, and there's all these memes out there about me looking like a horse. I am well aware of that. And to me, okay, I was upset at first, but then I realized that it, it's not worth getting upset over. Because it's just a bunch of morons making jokes about, like, like it's just funny now because it makes you realize how many pathetic people are out there, so. Yeah, it's, it's you know, yeah. for someone, it would be one thing if day one when you walked in the door, yeah. you were all over the internet, you know what I mean, and you had opinionated stuff you were saying, yeah. and you have literally, there was a one picture of the day you were here, one picture of you on Valentine's Day, yeah. and pictures of meals that you've made. Yep. That's it. And already there's nasty negative shit all over the internet. So can you understand why we don't want to jump in and have a million videos together and things like that? You see what I mean? Like it would be such counterproductive to have that. Plus, and I'll be honest here too, and I, we were talking about this before we even filmed, is that vlogging for me at this point isn't even a focus anymore. Like this video we're doing right now is just kind of a special thing because we wanted to kind of clear the air yeah. about what was going on. But vlogging for me is a fan service. It's something that I do for you guys, the viewers, because guess what? I make no money doing this. Like I, I explained this to my viewers on stream a couple times recently. I used to make like, for example, a DSP tries it video. Mm -hmm. I'd go try a new food item. The video would get anywhere from five to 10,000 views and I would make no lie, like 20 to $30 on the video ad revenue. So it would pay for the meal and I'd make a few couple bucks extra, right? Now I do a DSP tries it. It gets five to 10,000 views and I make $4, not even enough to cover the cost of the meal. So you see what I mean? YouTube has fallen to such a, an abyss of, of just terrible profitability that the vlogging for me, when I go out of my way to do it with things like the Ask the King or the Week in Preview or if I do a podcast or DSP tries it, is for you guys because you guys have been such a, a long-standing viewership of people who supported me that I go out of my way to do it. But understand, there's no reason for me now because Kat's here. Oh, now we're just going to, every week we're going to put out five vlogs together. No, it's stupid. And like I've said... We, you guys have already seen the house. You've seen the stuff, you know, the daily stuff. What do you want to see me? Oh, we made a coffee together. Here's a video. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know, it's so stupid and pointless and frivolous. No, we're not going to be doing stupid, silly stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, moving forward, if there is a reason, if there's a special occasion, if there's, uh, you know, we go and do something special, like going to Seattle and, you know what I mean, stuff like that, yeah. on the holidays... Yes, then you'll see videos of us together doing stuff. Yes, you'll see her from time to time on Instagram. And yes, eventually, if we do have plans and we have a game that we both like and we're planning, man, it's a co-op game. This is a game that maybe we could do together and it'll be fun. Then we'll let you guys know well ahead of time so you know what to expect and you can come watch. But <clears throat> no, very much, as I said at the very beginning of this video, what I'm trying to do at this point is make it so that the work fill 
is the guy you see on streams, the guy you see in videos, and that the other side of my life and you know, our lives together here in Washington is private and protected. So that way you don't have assholes trying to get all of our personal shit and trying to fucking find out all kinds of stuff about us and the you know things going on behind the scenes and twisting it and turning it into slanderous nonsense on the internet, which you know they're going to do. How many people are just going to take things from this video alone? Oh, I'm, right? Yeah, I know. And make a million videos about it and talk for an hour. Yeah. This video will be like 20 minutes long and there'll be like four hour long podcasts discussing yep. this fucking video. That's how, weird, how insane it is. So, you know, when we know that, but that's what I mean. We want to keep it to a level where it's under control and where it's not constant abundance of that. That's why she yeah. doesn't use social media. That's why we're not doing constant stuff together. We very much have enjoyed this last month where we've lived together. And we should say this. I think we owe it to the people who have been very nice to us, who were respectful, who yes. didn't violate our privacy. And, you know, there's some people, let's be honest, who are positive on stream and they want to see you and that's okay because there's people who actually are interested in you they want to know yeah. more about you in a positive way they're not trying to be nosy assholes or people being negative so to those of you who've been respectful and haven't tried to pry into our personal life thank you all right because that is very much appreciated in an era now of 2018 you know yeah. i've been making content for the internet for 10 years and i know fully up front i can tell you it's my fault a lot of times you know in those previous years i shared way too much with you guys and it just blew up to the point where people could use that stuff against me. So that's why there's has been this change in the last year. That's why we're going about it the way we're doing. And, you know, we've been happy. We've had a good month together. We're looking forward to a great life moving forward together. And, again, we want it to be special when it does happen. Okay. Anything yeah. else you want to say before we adjourn here or anything on um, your mind? No, I just want to say, you know, for the people that were being nice, because, you know, Phil tells me, I don't go to his stream, so I don't know, like, you know, what people say, but he has said that, like, there are nice, there are actually nice people that, you know, wanted to see me because they're genuine, and I, I only see, like, the hate videos on YouTube, you know, and all the slander shit that's made about me, so it does, I am really appreciative of that, of the people who are nice and who are respectful, and just thank you for that, it's, it means a lot, so. All right, so yeah. hopefully <laughs> this video cleared some air, hopefully this video explained a few things. That now you guys understand and moving forward you know it's again the reason i'm making this video is to explain so tomorrow i fully expect there'll be people on stream asking me a million questions about cat 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 you're not going to get answers because basically what we do is what we decide to share we will share with you and again we ask that you're trying to respect our privacy and our wishes and thank you to those who have been respectful of that okay all right that's it guys thanks a lot for listening hope you enjoyed the video and hope it cleared the air and uh see you later bye